I was trying to find out how the mares um, and the foals recognize each other. And I noticed that the foals most of the time walk towards the mares, which is not scientific proven, but it's something I noticed uh, from until now. This foal has been called by his mother, and you can see very good how he's looking around on the horses, um, towards the horses that are standing where I'm filming, uh, which one to walk at. And somehow he recognizes uh, pretty well which one is mom. And I was too late, but just a few m before I started to film, um, he, there was a mare calling. And now you can see him, and I think it's pretty remarkable um, to see. Um, it makes sense, of course, in, in the horse's world. He walks straight towards uh, his mother. And I say he, but I'm not sure yet if it's a female or a male foal, but we'll, we'll get to that. Foal is walking, walking on and on. This is obviously not the mother. So he makes a big turn around this mare, which is also something might be of value. Hey, why does he take such a big turn? Anyway, um, you can see him look again. Who, where's mom? Where's my mother? And I, I'm pretty sure, I'm very self-assured, uh, first of all, that horses are very self-aware. They have to be social. Horses have to be uh, very high. They're very high social animals, so they have to learn how to uh, behave in, in the group. And the foals are now in between six and eight months. They're all from this year, uh, in between April and June 2014. And you can see ears forward, uh, looking towards something. Um, well, this foal definitely knows where to go at. And it was there were many more mares um, eating. And I know that at that moment I thought, oh no, if he's going to graze, I'm moving, I'm filming for nothing. But it wasn't for nothing. Yes, it's a mare. Um, so it's a she. And she walks straight towards the mother and knows exactly that's mom. This is what foals many times do. They, they stand next to the mothers. And this mother obviously saw the foal coming. So there's not a real greeting ritual. Many times I've seen the mares bite towards the foals uh, while they're drinking. And I'm a little bit um, asking myself, is it because... You see, like this. Well, that hurts. <laughs> uh, like this. I wonder, I think it's because of the teeth. The foals already have teeth. And if I have the opportunity, I will put in a photo here where you can see, obviously, that the foals already have the full teeth. Um, they have teeth by when they're, they're born, of course, but the teeth are now growing. And you can also very see, see very good on the, all these movies. Um, that the foals are definitely having a very um, are well fed. They can they can they drink milk with the mothers and they also eat. And now I'm trying to tape the time uh, that the foal is taking for the drink. So I want to know is it decreasing uh, in a while? It's now November, and I well we'll see what what's going to happen. Uh, I expect the mares to stop. Uh, feeding the foals, but I'm not sure, but that's an expectation and that's not a question. When you're investigating, you need a guideline and, uh, for instance, now I'm trying to figure out how long do the, oh, look at the mom hanging on the foal, how long do the foals uh, drink? And you can see that when foals really mares, also many times take one or two steps ahead. Okay, the foal's ready and now I'm going to eat. And she looks as if she is my friend, but I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'm still not very splendid in recognizing the, the mares and the horses from a distance. Um, but anyway, I do know that the foals, many foals, are very well developed. And so, uh, this is, well, not spectacular, um, but this is what happens. And now let's try to find out uh, about another mare. Um, how long does she take um, for the drinking? And here's the group of mares standing here. Okay, let's go to another mare, the black mare. Black mare, main to the right, uh, no spot, if I'm correct. No, she is the one with the spot. I was wrong. 
uh, you can more or less recognize them on the thistles, but it's also pretty hard uh, from a distance when you're not experienced. And I'm here now for the third week, so still practicing. What I also like is to see how uh, the foals are, are eating together, but also very, very much uh, they show a lot of behavior, more behavior compared to the matures, which makes sense because they're for, far more active, they're more impulsive, they do as they, um, what they feel, like this foal is more or less falling asleep. Um, so there is a lot of activity seen. There are also many moments like this when, when everybody is grazing or sleeping or just staring in the nothing. Um, but many times there's a lot of behavior seen. November uh, 23rd, there she is, the mare with a spot on her face. And she's also having a foal, which is, I'm not sure if I videotaped that. That's another mare, that's a grey mare, and she has a white spot, and she keeps kept on distance. I had to pass uh, some other animals, and these are Galloway cattle, and I'm not really fond of these. When I passed where he is grazing where I stood, when I passed he was switching his tail all the time, and I was a little bit uncomfortable. They're bulls. Here we're back at the same place, you will hear the aeroplane come over, and this is a foal sleeping. Having a heavy head, nothing special. But I think what I do like is the way. Oh, these mares are now going going back. What I do like is the way the horses care, and I think there's a big importance. Um, it's very important for us to realize that there is a difference in between love and care. I think a mare loves her foal, and a stallion loves his mare. I was talking mare with the white spot. Yeah. Um, and care is what they show towards other horses. They care for each other, they, they watch each other, they are very aware. Um, yeah, I'm trying to recognize she has a, a carper back in here. I'm talking. <laughs> Love and care, and I think it's a very important difference to know and uh, to be, become aware of the difference between love and care. Love is, is well, it's more or less selfish, and care is taking care, like these horses are, are, are in this group, which is care. Mare with the main to the left. And at the back. Yeah. That was a grey mare, mare, which gave me some worry. Okay, I call her hanging lips, and perhaps I'm going to change in, in hot lips. She's calling her foal, and now you hear foal answer. This was a very nice moment, I think, because this is what happens. And she's very persistent, she's very aware. Again, I come to the self-awareness, because I'm, I will fight that until I... Well, never mind. She's very aware and she's definitely walking towards, where is my foal? She's walk, walking towards my foal, her foal. Um, and probably I was distracted because now I'm moving nothing. <laughs> and in a few seconds you will understand why I call her hanging lips. Uh, it's a way of recognizing her mane are to the right. But she also has this lip which is always, uh, when she's not grazing, uh, always hanging like that. Is she going to pull again? So that's why I call her hanging lips, um, because that's a way to recognize. She's a little bit more dark, uh, gr dark gray compared to, to the others, uh, who are a little bit more yellow. So I'm still finding out uh, things to, to be able to recognize. Now you can see her lip pretty well, and I'm going to zoom in so you can see it even more. This is more an identification movie um, than you see. <laughs> Well, and I'm a little bit worried about her because she's losing a lot of weight uh, the last time. Anyway, she's going to her foal and there are, ah, I don't know why I stopped filming. It was useless because I was standing behind the bush and then you cannot see, then you can only see the backs. But you can see immediately foal coming towards mare and the drinking starts. Okay.